Hello my little beauties, it's David Connolly here, the web developer extraordinaire. As some of you know, I'm, I don't watch too many web development channels, but a lot of the channels I subscribe to are people who wash cars for a living and fix laptops and stuff like that. And one of the channels that I keep an eye on is this channel here, it's the Lewis Rossman channel and it's excellent. He fixes Apple laptops and, uh, pardon me, I banged the mic. Something remarkable happened a couple of days ago, and I think it's it's noteworthy from a web development perspective, and I wanted to just draw your attention to it. Now, I'll leave the link below and you can check it out, but basically, he has been moving into a new place. He's had a horrendous time with contractors, no luck at all, and some um, fancy pants New York's design firm came up with this, this plan here, this design, and... Um, it's, uh, it's, it's awful. I mean, look at the letter R with light bulbs on it. I mean, <laughs> was it, maybe that would be good if you're going to be Elton John's hairdresser, right? But I just don't think it works for a, a business like this. So this company in New York charged seven grand for this. This is seven grand's worth of work, right? And then suddenly a random YouTuber appears and he takes a photograph that was on the site, or an image, this one right up here, and uh, runs it through some fancy program or whatever, and then comes back and says, well, maybe you should try this. Now, look at this, folks. It's absolutely incredible. This was produced by some random on YouTube for free, and he's made it look like... Well, quite frankly, it looks like an Apple store, but better than an Apple store. It's brilliant, you know? It's absolutely fantastic. Everything about it is just, a, a, as far as I can tell, I think it's an excellent, excellent job. But not only did the guy do that for free, but he produced all sorts of documentation with the colours, the colour codes. He's got... Images, I know that I'm sideways here, but you can see what's going on. You have to uh, <laughs> tilt your head, but he's shown you where each of the colors go. He then showed you the exact uh, floor tiles, or I think that's what we call them. Again, with the brands, the cost, and the links where you can buy it. He showed all of the tables with pictures, links to the Amazon pages, and he went on and on and on, even doing the fittings and everything. And it was an astonishing job. It was absolutely meticulous. And quite frankly, he took those that those so-called designers who produced this crap, he took them to school. We're talking about an anonymous YouTuber here. Now, I'm going to leave the video, and it's, it's really worth listening to the man himself speak about it, even though it's only a few minutes. And if you look at the comments, everybody's like, give that random dude the 7k. And he, and Lewis Rosman's like, he deserves to get paid. And then he's saying, um, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll feature him on the channel. Uh, look, I'd love, I'd love to feature him for an interview after the project has been over and he's been compensated for his work and time. So folks, the reason why I think this is relevant to developers is I meet a lot of good developers who have never been hired and are struggling to pay the rent and everything. And I think to myself, well, how often have you done something like this? Now, I'm not saying that you should go out and build sites for free or spend, you know, a week doing something. I think that arguably would demean yourself, denigrate the market and possibly not be the best use of time. What happened here was a little bit freakish, but nevertheless, all of us can learn something from this. We can all give some value to people that's personalized and meaningful. And it doesn't have to be a free site or like I say, something that takes hours and hours and hours, but why not at least give somebody a little bit of free advice or something. And if you can back it up with some good reading, you know, and maybe in the next video I'll tell you specifically what books to read so that you know, you know, what to say and what good advice looks like, right? 
um, then you can kind of do this as well. And I, I don't understand why, I, I genuinely don't understand why web developers struggle to find work because I'm not struggling. And this strategy here, by the way, I've been doing this since 2007, not quite the same way, but in my own way, uh, usually just by offering advice that's personalized and it's really good and it works. So take note of that developers. We live in an incredible world where stuff like this happens. I just thought of something before I upload this. You know, this is a story with winners and losers, right? I mean, when you look at something like what's just happened, everybody's like, oh, that design company are total garbage, get rid of them, you know, kick the professionals to the curb. This, this theme keeps going on. But I just wanted to say in the, the comments, or pardon me, <laughs> I just wanted to say in this little edit that this need not be a story with winners and losers. I believe that everybody can win from this story even the other design company. Now, I don't know what the story is in terms of refunds or if this is what's going to happen. It's not my business and I, I'm not that clued in. But you see this Jeff character? He has just given that design firm a wonderful education free of charge. And they should be absolutely delighted. They should be thanking him for the lesson. More than that, if I owned that design firm, I would be finding out, I'd be saying, who is this person? Introduce me. And I swear on all things sacred, I would be hiring him. And it would be the best signing ever. Even, I mean, I don't know what his status is, but even just as a consultant. And so, I want to just add the observation that this can be a story where there are all winners. Everybody can win here, and everybody should win. I think it's a magical little story. Anyway, I'll leave the link below. I hope you enjoy that, and I'll see you later.